three head vases for $10. Sure, I'll take it. They've been in a fire, but that's okay. I'll save them. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, before we get into the video, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Brooke from the Junk Parlor. I met her at the Watch Your Flea Market. She's so super awesome and nice. So if you guys have a chance, go check out her channel, Brooke from the Junk Parlor. So Brooke, it was really nice to meet you. Hi. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with part two of the Watch Your Flea Market haul. I got so much stuff that I had to split this video in two parts. So if you missed part one, go back and check it out so you can see all the fun vintage treasures that I got. I am super excited um, to show you guys everything because I got some really fun, kitschy vintage treasures. So, all right, let's get into part two's haul video. So I picked up a set of three chalkware fishies. Three chalkware fishies. So cute and adorable. These are 1954 Miller Studios. Now, some of them have a couple little paint chippies. There's no breakages, though. There's no breakages on these. But they do have a couple little bit of, um, like, paint chippies. They would need touched up just a little bit. But other than that, they're in great shape. And who does not love chalkware fish? I mean, come on. These are so kitschy and fun. And I love them so much. And actually, these I got these at one of my favorite vendors. Um, because she has the same style as me. And I paid... $35 for three sets. So I got this set that was included in the $35. And then the this set that was included in the $35. They are little minis. And these are actually ceramic ones. So cute. I don't know the maker. Like they kind of look like left in, but I can't say for certain but they're so whimsical and so fun. And there's a set of three, a whole family. And this one's a baby with its little eyes closed. And then the other set is a set of two. And these are so, again, so fun and kitschy. They're really dusty because they were in a barn. Um, but look, so fun and kitschy. They're like in in bowls or something in to make them look fun they just look fun hanging on a gallery wall see they have their they're really really dusty but they have their hooks and how cute are they they're so cute my mom needs to touch up that little tail right there but other than that they're in good shape i love them they're so kitschy and fun so i got those three sets of fish all three sets for 35 dollars and then I got these out of the dollar boxes. These were in the dollar boxes. So cute and adorable. This is Peter Rabbit. This one's really, really old. So cute. And then I got Hoppy the Hopper. Now, the binding is in rough shape, but I got this because the illustrations, you guys, are so 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 kitschy and fun look at this look at these flowers look at these anthropomorphic flowers oh my gosh i just it was in love now i don't know how this book works it's got like a binding through it i don't know 
but it's so kitschy and fun. So I picked up those. It was only a dollar. A dollar each. Then I can't remember how much this one was. So, so cute with the birds. And then the mama and the babies. So adorable. No chips or cracks. Really good condition. And yes. Very, very fun. Bluebird family. They're so kitschy. Look, they're so fun. So I picked up that piece. Then I, okay, so we were walking down one of the rows on the, on the outside aisles. And um, these three lady head vases were sitting there. And they had... I was like, wow, they look, this one looks like it had been through a fire. It looks like it's been, you know, in a fire. And it had a tag on it that said $75. So I asked the guy, I said, is this $75 for all three of them? And he's like, no, 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 no. Don't pay attention to the tag. Those were in a... Um, fire. There was in an antique store that caught fire and burned down and they were just some of the things that we were able to save, you know, that didn't get ruined and broken. And um, I'm like, how much for them then? And he said $10 for all three. Look at Snapco, 1958. Um, he said $10 for all three and I said, I'll take them. Because I know my mom is so handy and crafty that she would take them home and figure out somehow to clean them up and make them look all nice and new again. So I did. I said I will take them and I brought them home and they are so cute. None of them have any broken eyelashes or anything. Um... Is one missing an ear? This, she's missing her earrings. They probably got burnt up. And then she's missing one of her earrings. But they're so cute and adorable. I did not want to leave them behind. Napco 1958. Um, this one is, I don't know what that brand is. And then, I don't know what that brand is. I got my contacts in and it's late. I need to get them out. <laughs> I'm getting tired. <clears throat> okay, so I got those three for $10. Great deal. Then I got this out of the dollar boxes. So fun and kitschy and cute. It is a gravel art frog. Yes. So fun for a gallery wall. Absolutely love it. I love the gravel art and I love frogs. So... Totally, totally fun and groovy and would look so good in somebody's 70s decor. <laughs> I love it. The weird things just make me happy. Then I picked up these two cuties, patooties. Oh my goodness. How adorable are these spaghetti figures? So fun or sugared, whatever you like to call them. People call them different things. But they're so fun. So fun. And these were a dollar each. These were one dollar each. I thought they were so cute for the pair. So, so cute. Then I picked up this. I love elves and weird things. Look at their noses. Look how long their noses stick out. It says, welcome. It is so fun. So, so, so kitschy. It has its original sticker on the back of it. And I, I, don't, I just could not leave that behind. No way, Jose, with their noses. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Then I got baby beans. I did get baby beans. Um, she needs a bath, but she talks. I 
I love you. And she is Mattel Baby Beans. Um, 1970, I think that's what that says. 1970, I can't really tell. It's probably not going to come in, but... Yeah, I got baby beans, talking baby beans, so cute and adorable. Like I said, she needs a bath, but I didn't want to leave her behind. Then I got this really, really, really fun, groovy vintage ashtray. Love the colors. Very 60s, 70s style. Love the flowers and the orange. And I, I love that piece. I do, I do. Then I picked up these, and these were a dollar e or no, these were a dollar for the pair. These were a dollar for the pair. These are miniature Fenton cream and sugars, open cream and sugar set. Um, they have the spikies, and I love them so much. So I picked that little miniature Fenton set up. Then I picked up these glass glass little pieces. They're so fun. Absolutely love them. They're like the de um, decks of cards. It's missing the diamond. But I'm going to sell these as choice anyways because I like the swaggy glass jade. I need to shine a black light on them to see if they happen to glow because they kind of look like custard and I don't know. But they're really, really pretty. And they're glass. So those came home with me. Then two really, really cute, fun deer planters. These are a certain brand, and right now my brain is not functioning, and I cannot think for the life of me who the maker of these are. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments below, but they're so cute and adorable, right? Little cute deer planters. I got this gal she is a wall pocket a lady lady head wall pocket she was only five dollars i love her eyelashes no chips or cracks on her she would look good hanging on your gallery wall like a little pony she can hold succulents or whatnot Ooh, my contacts are getting so dry then i picked up this little pin cushion rubber head dude so kitschy and fun, right? Look at his face. He needs a bath, but so fun. So kitschy. I picked up this cute, cute piece. It's got a, it holds your brush. Oh, maybe it doesn't come out. I thought I took it out, but maybe it doesn't come out. Maybe it, that's the handle. I don't know. It's so cute. Have you ever seen anything like that before? I thought it was fun. Really, really fun. It's ceramic. It's ceramic. And then I got this little kitty cat. I think she was only 50 cents. I like her orange eyes. I thought she would look cute sitting out for Halloween, being she's orange. You could always paint her black, and then her eyes would be orange if you wanted. But she's so fun and kitschy. So, so fun and kitschy. Then I got this piece, and I believe she was only a dollar. I'm pretty sure she was only a dollar. Um, her head has been reattached. There is something you can get to go around the edging of that to take that dark stuff off of there, the dirt or whatever, to clean it up a little bit, you know, to make it look a little bit nicer. She's so sweet. I didn't want to leave her behind. She's marked Japan. Even though her head has been reattached, it's kind of hard to tell. Get a necklace. You won't even be able to tell. Won't even be able to tell at all. She's so pretty, right? So pretty. And then I got a box of rubber stamps because I remember several of you told me that when I passed up the ones at the Goodwill bins that I should have picked them up. Well, now I found a set that's actually in a box, which the box is, I like it. I like how it looks. The colors are still nice. And then here's the stamps, which they're falling out. 
there's a whole bunch of these um, stamps. They're in a box, so. Really, really cool. Even if you just want the box to sit up in your display, you could use that. Oh, then I got this guy, and I think I paid $3 for him. I'm pretty sure he was $3. He's so cute. He's old, old, old. But when I seen him, I'm like, you got a big nose <laughs> and pointy ears. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like him before? So fun. I like him. I got a few glass paperweights. A few glass paperweights. I got that one. Very, very pretty. No chips or cracks. That one. Again, so very pretty. And then this one. Very pretty as well. I like all these. There's gorgeous, gorgeous pieces of glass. Then I got a pair of salt and pepper shakers. The dogs. He's missing a little bit of cold paint on his bow. But other than that, they're in good shape. No chips or cracks on them. They're missing their stoppers, but that's okay. They are Christ. They are Christ. And they are both stamped on the bottom. And if you know anything about Christ, Christ is a very collectible brand. It is so kitschy and cute. They have the Psycho Ceramics pieces. And I love these. I love those dogs. So kitschy and fun. Then I did get a glass mushroom. And it was only $2, you guys. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it when I flipped it over and the price said $2 for a glass mushroom. Yes, please. Now, it's not the Viking glass mushroom. Um, how you can tell, I have a few Viking glass mushrooms in my collection, but how you can tell the Viking glass ones is you flip them over and they have the lines. Like, they kind of look like an actual mushroom um, underneath the cap. They do a very nice job, the Viking glass. But this one's really nice, too. This one's in really good condition. Nice and thick, no chips or cracks. Smooth, polished bottoms. Very, very pretty piece. So I got that glass mushroom. I got another set of salt and pepper shakers. And these are so fun and kitschy and cute. Look at these piggies. OMG, absolutely love them. This one has its stopper. It's like right there. Actually, I don't know if that stopper melted on there or what that is. I don't know. But they're so fun, right? Aren't they so kitschy and cute? I love them so much. So I picked up those piggies. I got another piggy. This is a vintage plastic piggy bank. It needs a stopper, but you can go to Hobby Lobby and get those pretty much anywhere or go to the Goodwill bins and find a bank and take the stopper, which I need to start remembering to do. Um, if the banks are in rough shape, if they're in good condition, I wouldn't do that. Well, maybe. <laughs> but so fun because it just heads to the dump anyways if nobody buys it. But I like that kitschy pig. I like the colors. And I like the colors on this. I got a vintage play kids toaster. It's a metal one. I it's got a plastic base, but this is metal. It is metal. But I again, I really like the colors. I think this would look so fun sitting in someone's display. Got the thing on the side where you can move it up and down. Look at those colors. So fun, so kitschy, groovy. And then I got this really fun paper mache um, candy basket. It's got the cardboard bottom and really 
fun kitschy star. I just thought that looked so fun and kitschy. I like little paper mache pieces and I just think this is kitsch and will look really good in someone's vintage Christmas display. And that and I like faces, so <laughs> I got that reindeer. Then I picked up this really fun tooled leather bag. Tool leather purse. Really, really, really good condition. Really nice piece, actually. Let me open it up. A little bit of wear on the inside, but nothing major. It's all leather. It's gorgeous. I like the design. I like the color on the handle. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. Loving it. And I picked up this gal. I love her too. She is so fun, you guys. So, so fun. I've had sold dolls the same material as her before. It's like, I don't really know how to explain it. But she's so, 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 so cute. She is marked on the back. She is marked Whimsy A Mare Doll and Toy Corp 1960. Let me see if I can get it to come in for you guys, but the lighting sucks tonight, so it probably won't be able to, but you can kind of see right there it's marked. But she's from 1960. So cute, right? I love her. I thought she was so fun. Then I got this froggy off of the $5 frog table. He's a bank. He does have a stopper. He is marked made in Japan on the bottom. Really good condition. No chips or cracks. Just a little bit of paint wear on his backside. He could be touched up, but look how cute he is with his little spectacles. Oh, and he's knitting. It's a cute frog bank. Very kitschy. Loving it. I got a whole tin full of vintage buttons. These are so cool. Let's see if I can get it open here without spilling them everywhere. These are so cool. It's completely full, but I'm going to show you some of the buttons. Look at this. Isn't that neat? The, it's got some really, really, really cool um, vintage but, buttons in here. Super, super fun. And the whole thing is completely full. So I'm, yeah, and I think it was $3, $3 for that whole thing. Then I got this guy. Now he is super cool. I thought he was a blow mold at first. When I first seen him, I thought he was a blow mold because he's a plastic toy like that. Look at him. He's a bear, right? He is a Mark's Toys. And I know Mark's is very, very, very collectible. And I thought he was so fun. Look at the, his bottom, you guys. He's got some sort of metal mechanism where he, and wheels where he would move. There's some wires. I don't know what they go to. There's a switch right there. But he is so fun. So fun if you collect vintage toys. I think this would look so good sitting on a shelf in anyone's collection. Like I said, it is marked right there, marks. So yeah, really cool. Love him. And then I got this amazing glass bird. It is got one part that has been you know, broke off at one point. But if it's sitting on your shelf, it's really hard to even tell. So, so, so pretty with all the gold. 
Can you see the gold in there? So stunning. There's the bottom. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous bird. It's very pretty glass bird, even though it has that one piece missing right there. That's okay. I just think it's so pretty. I like the gold. Then I got this piece. This is a cast iron horse and carriage or wagon. Horse and wagon. It still has the person in there. It is, um, oh God, it's hard for me to hear. Let me just take it. It does come in two pieces. See, it does come in two pieces. Now the wheels like are like that because this part has broke. The two metal bars have broke, but when you have it sitting up, you could put them just put them in place and it doesn't matter. It sits like it's supposed to. I only paid a couple dollars for this awesome cast iron piece. Now, after I know doing some research a while back, um, just the man alone, having that man, that can sell for like 25 plus. It does, this one's pretty unique because it says ice on the wagon. It is, says ice on there, on both sides. It is marked, so. I thought that was a cool piece. Only paying a couple dollars for it. it was pretty cool by me. I didn't care. I brought it home. And then the last thing that I got at the flea market was this amazing <laughs> Edward Mobley rubber squeaker large doggy. His eyes open and close. When he lays down, they close. He's sleeping. Then they open. And he is marked on the bottom. Edward Mobley. I don't know if I see a date. My eyes are still so tired. I don't know. I can't see it right now. But, yeah, it, he's so cute. He's marked on the bottom and also on the back of his head as well. But he squeaks <laughs> super nicely perfect for anyone's rubber collection and I love him so much. He's so cute and adorable. So there we go guys. That is my haul from the wall cheer flea market. I got so much stuff. Like I said, I had to split it in two videos. So if you missed part one, go back and check that video out. Um, lots of fun treasures I showed. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is in the description below as well, too. Um, and I can let you know if I'll sell outright or if it'll be available in a live sale. More than likely, it will be available in a live sale. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, take care. See you later. Bye, guys.